Many congratulations on your film, which I saw, and um, I, I think I'd like to say that it's a, it's a it's a narrative and a story which hasn't been told like many other films of yours before. So, what inspired you? Because this was based on true story. I I get I I think these stories find me. I don't look for them. You know, so this story landed up in my email junk box and I read it and then I shared it with my writer Apurva and uh, we had to make this you know, in many ways it was Apurva's coming out film yes. uh, so it had a stake to it it had a stake to it it had a personal stake to it and uh, you know I have always believed that you know we cannot be we cannot call ourselves a democracy if the fundamental rights of its citizens are under threat and we have lived with that threat all these years. So, and as artists, uh, we've done nothing. I'm trying through my films to at least raise my voice, to be honest, to be outspoken. And so this story again uh, brought up a very, very basic issue in our society. The right to privacy, which is denied, although it is uh, guaranteed by the Indian constitution. Yes. Yes. And it's a human rights issue. It's a, it's a huge human rights issue. But when you made this film, actually, it was a transition period, wasn't it? It was the time when the penal court was decriminalized. And then no, well, uh, the film's uh, setting is at that time when it was decriminalized. Right. I made it when it was already a crime. Okay. So you, the making was actually last year? It was last year. This year, in fact. And was the original story also based in Aligarh? Or that's... that's uh, in Aligarh. It was in Aligarh. But you haven't filmed in Aligarh. I could not. Okay. You weren't allowed to? Yeah, it, it also would have unnecessarily ruffled feathers. Mm. I needed to tell the story, mm. not get into a fight before I could tell the story. Mm. Okay, so the, <coughs> Sorry. so the shooting was in uh, Bareilly? He shot in Bareilly. In the university premise? Or? Yeah, in the Bareilly College premises. Uh, Bareilly was very close to that world that we were trying to show. And your casting for Manoj has just done such a beautiful job. Well, Manoj, again, I mean, Manoj cast himself. He was perhaps the only actor who could have done this. He, is perhaps one of the country's most special actors and uh, in spite of this huge body of work I think he deserves much more. Yes, and I think he deserves the national awards. Well, <laughs> touch wood. <laughs> and the casting with your other favorite actors. Rajkumar. All your films. Rajkumar is like my, he's my adopted uh, screen son. <laughs> I, um, I end up writing roles for him, parts for him. I end up... Uh, I have to make my films with him in it. Mm -hmm. uh, he gave... With Shahid, he gave my work a new voice, a new lease of life. And uh, I mean, he, he's a very special actor. Very special actor. And for some someone so young, uh, very, very mature. Yeah, and we see him growing. He's with, growing with, with every his journey film. with you, yeah. in yeah. fact, with yeah. all your films. So with the National Award for Shahid and as well as for Rajkumar, was it easier for you to make this film? I mean, your say to get distribution and definitely, to have this sort of part. Definitely. Actually, uh, Shahid allowed me to make my next film, which was City Lights. Shahid was made by Disney. Yes. Uh, then uh, City Lights was Foxstar Studios. Yes. That film's success actually helped me get this film. Right. So I got Eros to make this film. And so I've been lucky in that sense that you know studios have backed uh, such strong subjects. Yeah. And something which would otherwise be considered art house or risque. Yeah, I, I don't see my work as art house, you know. I see it, I, I'm telling you a new story uh, with a concern, but in a linear, engaging manner. Yes. You know, I don't uh, really flirt with cinema or cin uh, cinema as a medium that way. I don't, um, I subvert the story, uh, you know, the mainstream Bollywood story. But I shoot it like I would shoot a storytelling. A storytelling. It's pure storytelling. I don't let anything overpower that, uh, that storytelling.
and so I can engage with an audience because I want the audience to finally get provoked by uh, these films. I want them to go back, think about what they have seen. You know, unless a subject like this opens up conversations about uh, the state of fundamental rights in our society, why why make the film? So having said that, do you, would you say that the audience is evolving? Oh yes, actually we've had a very evolved audience. We as filmmakers have underestimated uh, their intelligence and served them trash thinking that this is what they want. Mm. You know, the moment you start exposing them to newer stories, to newer forms of storytelling, uh, you realize that they are waiting, they are hungry. Yeah. It takes time, I mean, you need, it's evolving and it takes time. You as a filmmaker need to continue on that path. Yeah. Because eventually, uh, uh, this is going to lead to uh, better cinema.